Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm in Matrim's bubble for the world title triple header, headlined by Katie Taylor and Miriam Gutierrez. Joined by Cash Farouk. Fingers crossed we get to see you under the lights and in the ring this weekend. It's been a really, really tough month or so for you, isn't it? No, it has, uh, Oscar, you know, definitely. And uh, fingers crossed. I mean, we've, been through, we've passed a COVID test now and uh, just all we got to just about making weight and just, you know, I mean, passing time to a fine night. And, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to going boxing. You know, I mean, fingers crossed everything goes well. You say you passed the COVID test, yeah. but we know with you now, yeah. there's probably going to be another obstacle. Forget the COVID yeah. test. I mean, your opponent looks fine. He's yeah. going to have made weight. Yeah. He's passed his COVID test. Surely now this is it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm hoping anyway, but I, I'm not thinking about them. I'm just thinking about fight night now. And uh, fingers crossed everything goes well. And uh, I'm just, you know, just my mind's on the fight at the moment. You know, I'm just thinking about what I'm going to do in the night and, uh, and uh, how am I going to perform, you know. Has it been tough in the sense that if you had last stepped in the ring and got a victory, you'd still be wanting to get in the ring, but your last time in the ring was a defeat and you haven't been able to get around that, get back in and get back to winning ways. So, you know, it's going to be, I think, a year and two days yeah. since you were last in the ring uh, come Saturday. So is it because you were last out on a loss? Is that what's made this time difficult, not just being able to bounce back? Yeah, it's true. You know, I mean, it's been a year since I've been no box. It's the longest I've ever in my career, ever my, even amateur or professional and... Uh, you know, I'm. Uh, I just, I'm really looking to, looking forward to just boxing now because this is what I want to do and this is what I do. You know, obviously with the, obviously with delays and delays and you know, it's just disappointing. But I kept, I kept my head down and kept training away. You know, and uh, obviously it's just gonna make the victory sweeter. You know. Did your mind ever slip? Did you ever just think, you know what, I'll take this year off and go again? Perhaps when fans return, because we know what sort of crowds you can draw. And I'm sure Eddie's already thought about getting you back to Scotland. Did you ever just think, if I just get my head down, still tick over but work and go go again in 2021? Did you ever think about sort of just leaving it for this year? No, I wanted to do box this year, definitely. You know, that was on. I did. I was like, as long as I get a fight in this year, I'll be happy, you know. And uh, But I wanted to definitely get a fight in this year. And uh, obviously, October got all cold off. Then that one and a couple of weeks ago, and uh, Derek's on undercard. Then now I'm here, but... You know, obviously, them two fights, obviously, people usually get, you know, I mean, disappointed. But I just kept, I was like, ah, I just got to keep my head down, keep working. Because Eddie prompts us, you guys out after uh, the Newcastle show, he said, we'll get you out again. Then once I got called off, he's like, we'll get you out again. So I couldn't take time off. I had to keep it in the gym, you know, I mean, the next day I was back in the gym again. So I just had to keep focused and that was it. Your opponent's coming with a nice little record, yeah. 20 wins, 5 defeats. I think he's only fought outside of Mexico once. Yeah. But he's coming with a nice little record. So you ain't just jumping in with a tomato can. You're jumping in with someone who's going to be live and he's going to cause you a bit of problems and you're going to have to suss out as well. Yeah, I think he's only been stopped once or something in his career. And, uh, you know, he's boxed with IBO, uh, or Tyler Super, uh, Super Five, I think, something like that. Or, you know, so he's, he's you know, he's experienced, he's done championship fights a good few times. So he's, he's going to he's gonna be there all night, you know, trying to obviously make me work for everything I do. So it's going to be a good fight for me, definitely. Now you're with Matrim. There's more of a, I don't know, maybe there's more pressure on you. There's definitely more eyes on you as well. There'll be hardcore boxing fans who've seen you progress through the ranks. And now you're here, there's going to be more eyes on you. Do you feel like you have to put a statement out in this fight? Yes, obviously you want to win, but you want to look good while you're winning. So obviously I want to make a statement as I'm winning. And uh, that's that's my plan, you know what I mean? Go in there and showcase my skills and, and you're going to put a good performance on so they can talk about me, you know what I mean? Because when people have been talking about you, it's all been about the Lee McGregor fight I mean positive for Scottish boxing you wanted those big times back Josh Taylor's fronted it you and Lee was massive as well for the country um, did you get bored I mean because I can imagine it's all people ask you know I'm asking you it now did you sort of get bored that it just gets brought up and brought up yeah it does you know I mean it's, it's been a year now to be honest I, could, I surely had about two or three fights in by now but obviously the way things are at the moment in the world you know you're I'm still st I'm still obviously coming off a defeat I'll need to get that fight in then obviously move on and Obviously, he's just been tested uh, positive for COVID, so his fight will obviously get rescheduled. I don't know when, so the even delays, even the rematch does happen, you know what I mean? It could delay, you know what I mean, longer now. So just depending on the way the situation in the world is, you don't know how the 
the future is going to plan out. So it's unpredictable to how things are, are at the moment. You mentioned the word rematch. So it must have crossed your mind that if Lee picks up the European title, yeah. then you two could get it on and it could be bigger than before. Yeah, 100%, you know, and uh, that's, you know, it's be a bigger fight, definitely, you know, and uh, it would draw a bigger crowd if, 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 if obviously, if it's a, if the time, obviously, the love fans in and, you know, but even that, without that, it'll draw, bring a lot of attention and, you know, again, because just the way the fight ended the last time, so, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be a great fight again, definitely. Is it, are you in sort of a weird situation? Because you and Lee might have been for the Commonwealth and British, but it looked like a fight that was levels above that for both of you as well. The bantamweight division is not that deep yeah. as well domestically. So are you a European level fighter? Are you a fringe world level fighter? You know, I'm just, I don't know, to be honest. I'm going to obviously I take it fire time. And uh, obviously I'm, I think I'm past that British level because I've won the British already. And I think I'm past that, to be honest. And I just uh, see where I, obviously I'm going to show, I'm going to go on this and see where I'm, you know, I mean, go on that performer perform against his boy and just take it there. I always took a fire time and that's that's the way I've had my mindset. And uh, well opportunity crown up, I'm going to take them. Do you ever look at the guys at world level and not watch it from a fan perspective? Like Inui Casemiro is one that we expect if Inui comes through Maloney, uh, went, sorry, Inui's come through Maloney and we expect him to fight Casemiro. Do you watch that with a fan? Is that one or do you watch that and try and pick holes and think, you know what, why can't I be in them with them guys in a year, year and a half? You know, I uh, do always say I watch some fan as well, but, you know, and, uh, you know, obviously I love to, you want to go in with the best fighter that is, you love to be in with them, you know, you want to test, uh, you want to test how good you are, so, you know, you love to go in with the new, uh, all the best bandwidths at the moment, you know, but there, there, are, there are leaps and bounds ahead of me at the moment, you know, so, hopefully I do get there at one, at one point in my stage, my career, you know, work, so work hard and get there, yeah. We know Inui has already had a sniff of Glasgow, so maybe he'll come and uh, he'll come and take you on in Glasgow for, for defending the belt. Who knows? Yeah. Um, so yeah, just finally, what do you want from this fight? Obviously, you want to look good, you want to perform. Um, is there a bit more to it to, to show new things you've been working on? Because when you've been out for this long, yeah. I can imagine you believe you're a much better fighter than you were a year ago. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I've just I've just been training really hard, and I've stayed in the gym since June. And when I was in June, you know, I was like, I, I might get cold or maybe stember. Maybe October time, and I've just been in the gym since, and obviously, I've known you've been out because of the coronavirus things, and I was just afraid in case I catch it, or, you know, I have, I have a fight coming, you get tested positive or something, so I've just, just been in the gym, working with since June, I mean, bef well, to even before that, you know, I've been in the gym since, and doing run, and this is probably the longest I've trained, and uh, I want to obviously go on there and get, get back to win in and get the bright lights, and just get used to, you know, I mean, being boxing again, because it's been a year, and, uh, you know, and uh, if things weren't like this, you know, I mean, you would have had, I would have maybe had two or three fights in by now. Well, look, one, two, three, fourth time lucky, yeah. fingers crossed, and we finally yeah. get to see you make your matchroom debut. Um, yeah, thanks for giving me your time, and uh, fingers crossed, I'm sure this is it now. I'm sure we're going to get to see you under the lights on Saturday, and uh, yeah, God bless you, wish you well. Thanks a lot, Oscar. I just want to say thank to everybody that's obviously supported me and give me a kind message since my last fight, and uh, I want to thank all my sponsors as well, you know, especially Porto Security, who helped me through the pandemic. You know, and uh, yeah, just I'm um, looking forward to get fingers crossed to find for a Saturday night. You know, we can go and get, uh, get the job done. You know, is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO, and your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. <laughs>